What's going on guys? This is JT here. Welcome back to Diablo Immortal. In this video, we're going to be pushing challenge rifts. I just recently hit 150 and my current damage is 13,419. My life is 172,000. As far as combat rating, I'm at 5352. So we are, we pushed uh, 146 is the last one I did. I beat it in like three minutes. And then it advanced me all the way to 152. So, I mean, there's really no reason why I felt like I shouldn't be able to beat 152. So, we're going to go ahead and get right into 152. Now, I don't know exactly how hard 152 is going to be, but I'm going to check the damage that I take in and the damage I put out, like, right away. So, let's see. As soon as we can find a mob. This is a relatively good floor. This is, like, the best floor for me. Oh, this is going to be relatively easy, actually. Never mind, I thought this was going to be a little bit harder than it was, so we'll just go ahead and push right through this. We're going to be able to smoke this with no, like, no problems at all. Dude, that blessing of worthy proc right there was nutty. We could even kill this yellow if we really want, but those yellows just have, man, they have so much life. Alright, fine. I guess I'll bring the yellows up towards each other. Or one both of them down or something. I right, just yellow moving. First time I ever really kill two yellows at the same time in a damn challenge drift, man. This don't ever happen. Alright, let's go ahead and keep on rolling. Got an alchemy shrine, but I don't want to use it. This last blue pack, honestly, this should... This is not like the boss in the problem. Alright, let's see what we got for a boss here. It's really not going to matter because we're just going to smoke it. And that's a pretty easy boss. So I'm hitting for about 4,000 damage, right? So I think I'm probably going to be able to take like rip 150, probably seven if I go extremely hard. Probably like 156, 157 until I get a couple more upgrades and then I'll be able to push a lot higher, right? Because challenge rips are really all about your combat rating as far as much damage you take in and how much damage you dish out. Right, I'll take some legs. Good to see some beast gear, man. Nice. We should be. We might even be able to get an upgrade out of that as well. And you never know. Whenever you skip levels like that, it gives you additional gear possibly from uh, doing that as well. So let's see if we got any legendary items in there besides legs. And it looks like we didn't, but we only got legs, so I might as well go upgrade upgrade the gear and also identify the legs see if we can't get some exceptional legs because my legs honestly really aren't that great so probably relatively easy to upgrade those Every item. I hope I was and assistance. unless they're not exceptional then never mind all right so let's go ahead and upgrade what do you another need, ring because i'm pretty sure we have enough oh what would be the difference four or four so it's literally the same thing either way. Alright, cool. You do the fighting, I'll do the fourth. Actually, I had 43, or uh, 53, let me see how much this one. 52, so that brought my combat rating up by 8. Recharging. So one upgrade with the ring is 8 combat rating, it looks like. That actually ain't that bad, honestly. It's not really that bad. Alright, let's get into another challenge rift here. Go ahead and beast her. I mean, we might as well try 156. If it's if it's a hard rift, I probably am not gonna be able to do it. And this is definitely a hard rift. All right, let's see what we got. So 
81. Actually, I can probably do this, honestly. 81% damage. I mean, not really the rift I'm looking for, but to be honest, I'm going to be able to do higher than this. Definitely not an optimal rift, especially for a barb. However, I'm still way overpowered for this rift. Another blue pack. Can we get another one, or let's just go ahead and check this one out? I must find wow, we got a damn orb. That's crazy. Energy orbs are like the best thing, dude. They're like damn near like a shrine for a barb, especially for me, because I can literally pop all my cooldowns again. I can pop Undying Rage, Berserker Rage. Can also pop uh, not my whirlwinds full on energy. Like it is pretty, pretty big to get up energy over here. Let's go ahead and take out all these guys. Look at all the seeping bio props there, man. See that interrupt on this guy jumping? That's one good thing about whirlwind. Whirlwind's a nasty interrupt. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Alright, we need what, about two more blue packs and we should be good. That was a big blessing of worthy proc right there. Alright, so we got one blue right here. One more blue. Alright, we're fine. It's hard to kind of maneuver around the zombies because they're so slow and they normally don't follow you like that far. There's a lot of trash right here, man. Healing. Alright, let's see. What do we got for a boss here? Not one of my favorite bosses, but like I said, I'm overpowered for this rift, so he's gonna go down pretty easily. I might die one or two times, but what's the matter? Got him dying rage up. About to get my cooldowns in a second. Go ahead and grab some health pots while I'm running. I'm about to light this dude up. My wounds run deep. I'm gonna let myself die and I'm gonna light him up. I'm injured. Let myself die as soon as uh as soon as Berserker rage is up, I'm going ham on him. Alright, I'm going ham on this dude. Oh, of course I'm teleport. Fifty-six. Right, One fifty-six is done. Let's go see if we can snatch up some more upgrades now. 